Is that good? Yes! We are gonna go to the bathroom. That is the very, very first thing we're gonna do, so everyone's gonna remind themselves to go to the bathroom. Alright, so the first piece of gear we're gonna be putting on is our jock and jill shorts, so everyone was fitted for that when they walked in. These are the yellow shorts that just fit just like shorts, and they have two velcro straps on the front of the leg, as well on the, as on the back, and then this is where your hockey socks are gonna attach to. So up next is our shin pad. So our shin pads are labeled left and right. These are at station one. So your knee is going to fit comfortably in the donut area of the shin pad. And then they're going to fit about two fingers above the top of the foot and then do up with one to two Velcro straps that just wrap around the legs. So up next is our white hockey socks. So these are just going to slide right over top of your left leg as well as your right leg. And they're going to do up to the Velcro straps on the jock and chill short. So with the shin pads, they may be a little bit loose. You can always purchase clear plastic hockey tape from Canadian Tire just with the coupon you receive. And that goes for any cloth tape or mouth guard or any skate sharpening you need. You just use that coupon and you can go to Canadian Tire and kind of get all geared out there. So after our hockey socks are on, we're gonna put on our hockey pants. Does anyone know why we call them hockey pants? Yeah, so they look like hockey shorts. I don't know why we call them hockey pants, but that's what they're called, but that's a very, very good answer. So these are just gonna slide right over top of your shin pads. They're gonna sit nice and comfy on your child's hips. They're gonna protect the front side, the back side, as well as the rear, and then they're gonna do it with a, a lace, as well as a fastened belt. So up next, we'll get our hockey skates. So we're not gonna put on the hockey skates here tonight just because they're poor, but everyone's gotta remind themselves they have to get their skates sharp. So can everyone get their skates sharp for me? Before you guys go on the ice, everyone can give me a big nod. Okay. You gotta remind yourself to do that. So parents and skates tend to fit about one to two sizes smaller than your child's shoe size. So here at Station 2, Bryce does a great job of that. We have great fitting skate tools. So Bryce will just kind of show you if you're, just kind of show you where the toe is in each skate. So up next is our shoulder pads. So these are also known as our Iron Man, Iron Woman pads. So these are gonna come right over top of the head. They're gonna sit nice and comfortably on the shoulder. It's gonna protect the front side, the back side as well as your biceps, and then you're gonna do up with four Velcro straps, two around the waist, and then one on each arm. So after the shoulder pads are on, we're gonna put on our elbow pads. So once again, elbow pads are labeled left and right. These are just gonna slide right over top of your left and right arm, and then you're gonna do up with one to two Velcro straps just around the arm, just to fasten it. So underneath your hockey gear, you might wanna wear just a long sleeve just with a Velcro, and it kinda of does rub a little bit. So I'd recommend just a long sleeve as well as a long pair of pants or a long johns would be ideal for underneath the hockey gear. So up next is our neck guard. So with the neck guards, they're gonna go up with a Velcro strap just around the back of the neck. They are fairly big just for the first couple of on-ice sessions parents. So once the child starts sweating it and wearing it, it will form to their neck. It'll, it will kind of reduce in size. It is fairly stiff for the first couple of on-ice sessions. So just kind of heads up with the neck guard. So after that, these are hockey jerseys. So the hockey jerseys are gonna go right over top of Emmy's arms and they're going to cover your shin pads as well or shoulder pads as well as your elbow pads so with the hockey jerseys you might want to label your hockey jersey as well as every every, every other single piece of gear you will be receiving tonight everyone's getting the exact same gear so parents in two hot two dressing rooms with 45 kids it does kind of get a little chaotic so please remember just to mark everything of yours and then just to kind of come about 45 minutes before your first on ice session just to dress your son or daughter just so you have enough time just to put them on the ice. So up next is our hockey helmet. So this is by far the most important station at night. Maddie does a great job in station four fitting your child's helmet. So parents, you must pay attention at station four. Maddie will tell you how to adjust your child's helmet. They do not come fitted, they come in a box. So you will have to just adjust your child's helmet when you receive it today just in the box. So after the hockey helmet's on, what are we gonna do? What, what are we missing? So we're, we're missing gloves and sticks. So next up is our gloves. So gloves are going to go over your right hand as well as your left hand. It's going to protect the front side, the back side, and also the soft palm so everyone can grip onto your hockey sticks. So you, everyone was fitted for a hockey stick when they came in. You're either a right hand or a left hand shot. So parents, you will have to tape the stick. So you're going to want to tape the blade of the stick just with blue, white, black, or any kind of cloth hockey tape just on the heel and the blade as well as the handle. So with the handle, you're just going to want to tape over the top piece here. It does kind of fall out, so you just want to tape over that. And there are taping instructions on the sticks as well as the handle and then blade. And then you will have to cut your child's hockey stick. So can Emmy go on her tippy toes for me? So we're gonna to want to cut the sticks just in between our nose and our mouth when we're on our tippy toes. So ideally, you go on your tippy toes and you just want to mark it by the mouth. By the mouth and then you can cut it with a hacksaw or you can bring it to any sporting goods store and they will cut it for you.
So can everyone give Emmy a big round of applause?